Welcome, my friend, to another Technical Tuesday on the Chef Lance Show. And today, we're going to make award-winning mashed potatoes. You will be the hit of the potluck. You'll be the favorite at the reunion. This is absolutely simple. It does have multiple steps. Why is it a Technical Tuesday? This is a dish because we're going to learn three techniques today, uh, including how to boil the potatoes the best way, how to rice a potato, and how to uh, to screen a potato. So we're gonna learn all that around the corner, so join me then. One is uh, the technique I learned from watching Chef John Pierre. Uh, so he stated that with the, with the skin off, if you peel them first, then the potato has a tendency to absorb water. And what we don't want to do is have a watery potato. We want the potato to absorb the cream and the butter. Here we go with this, and I'm gonna bring it back around when it's uh, time to peel these. See you around the corner. All right, kids, we are ready. Uh, these potatoes have, are cooked and they've been drained, but they're still incredibly, incredibly hot. So I'm gonna use my paring knife and I'm just gonna start by, I'll make a little slit right here. Then I'm gonna start peeling the potato just like that. The skin will come off very, very easily. Oh, I love Yukon Golds. Great color, great flavor. Now, when you do this at home, be sure you have a towel, a thick towel folded up. Get that little thing off there so that you um, you don't burn your hands. Now, my thumb, I'm holding my thumb on there. That's getting a little bit warm. Kind of wish I had some ice water to dip it in, but no, really, it's not that bad. You just got to be very careful. Now, you want these hot as we go through the next couple of steps because uh, they're so much easier to work with. So what you can do, if you're not working fast enough, you can also pop, uh, pop these in, the, uh, in a warm oven only and keep them warm that way. So I'm going to finish this whole, uh, all the potatoes here. And then when I'm done, I will bring you back around. All right, we'll see you around the corner. Welcome back, my friend. And now we're going to get to actually assembling the potatoes, but it's got to go through a couple of processes first. One is with what we call a potato ricer. This is a device you put the potatoes in, press and it comes through this sieve here. Now this is the Jai Hinormous restaurant version of it. I actually recommend you go to the Jungle River store, uh, search for potato ricer, and you can get one that is perfect for home size. Okay, I had this handy. Obviously, I have this equipment available, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to press through a couple and uh, we'll go from there. So these are hot. I've, I've been warming these in the oven and I am going to just put a couple in there. Don't want to overload that, but it's simply this. You simply press the potato. Then a Unfortunately, there's a lot that's left behind, so you have to keep working that in. You don't want this out there. You're trying to get it all smooth and everything. So I'm going to throw a couple more in. There we go. Now, when I press this, you can see it, how it comes through, just like that. So, then I will take my spatula, scrape that off. Some will be on that side, some will be on that side. All right, that is a ricing a potato, and I'm going to go through all the potatoes, get them riced, and uh, we'll bring you back for the next step. We'll see you around the corner. All right, I got all the potatoes riced, put them back in this pot. Uh, I'm gonna use that big bowl again when we go to the next step. Now the ricer uh, makes this really creamy, fluffy rice. And if that's all you do, you've really elevated your game on the potato dish, but uh, that's not all we're gonna do here. So uh, in the meantime though, I'm gonna go ahead and salt my potatoes. This following the 1% rule, I'm gonna do a technical Tuesday on that. But get that salt in there. Then I've got a cup of heavy cream, as I mentioned earlier, has been uh, warming. Actually, it's very hot, you can see the steam. You never want to put cold things in your potatoes. You're trying to keep them hot. You want them hot, right? So I'm going to pour the cream in, and I may or may not use all of it. It just depends. Now, some of it has evaporated away, and so um, we may just use all of it. Now, this is 
Um, I think Chef Jean Pierre actually calls for milk, whole milk in this. I prefer the heavy cream, so that's what I'm using. What I'm not trying to do is smash these. Uh, again, we've taken some time to rice them, make them fluffy, and so I don't want uh, that to happen here. I just want to get it incorporated, and I do think because I did lose some to evaporate. Uh, it, that's easy for you to say. Evaporation, I'm going to put all that in there. So I'm going to get this mixed up. And then the, uh, the next step will involve a new technique that uh, you may or may, not have, may or may not have seen before. But we're going to show you how to do it. All right. See you around the corner. All right. Welcome back. And what is this dry, enormous thing here? Well, this is what the French call a tammy. Um, we in America tend to call it a drum sieve, but it's got extra fine mesh here. We're going to push the potatoes through with the help of a flexible bowl scraper. These are so, so handy. Uh, you should always have some of these on hand. So I've got my potatoes over here. We just riced them. Uh, we added the cream to those, and now we're going to use a tammy. So a little at a time. And by the way, there was potato uh, that didn't have the volume to get pushed through the ricer. And so that's incorporated as a very little portion of percentage wise, a very little bit of the potato, but we're going to push that through as well. So now just taking this, you can see those chunks. So most of this is rice, but a little bit of it still is going to get worked right here. Another reason why the ricer is only one step. This will make a super smooth, super luxurious mashed potato. All right. Let me get this pushed through. And let me show you what's on the other side. So you see now, now we have this super smooth potato. Scrape this off and continue on. So I'm going to continue on uh, pressing this through my uh, drum sieve or tammy. And uh, by the way, the word uh, spelled T-A-M-I. If you uh, want to do a search for one, uh, a smaller one is all, all that you need it with the home. But again, this is restaurant size, but it all works the same. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. And then when I do, I'll bring you back around and we'll uh, finalize our potatoes. All right, welcome back, my friend, and I wanted them hot to, uh, to receive the butter, and so that's what I'm going to do now. Now, remember, the potatoes I've seasoned already with the salt based on the 1% rule, and now I'm going to add just a little bit of black pepper, and we'll adjust that, maybe add more later if we need it. And what I have here, it, all total, is a pound and a half of butter. I'm using European butter, which has an extremely high fat content. Um, about 82% actually. So, uh, bakers love using this butter as well. So now I'm just going to incorporate, <laughs> easy for you to say, incorporate this into the, uh, the, oh, these things are so smooth. Listen, uh, and here's another thing. By the way, you don't use melted butter for this. You literally want to emulsify the butter into the potatoes. If you melt it and you have it, they break and you have an oil and a milk solid, that oil will never fully incorporate. We're going to emulsify this so you get the whole butter flavor in this. It's really incredible. So I'm just telling you, I, the texture of these are unbelievable. And I haven't even tasted them yet. I'm just talking about just working them. All right, so that's a, a quarter of a pound in there. Here's the next quarter of a pound. So I'm going to get this done, and then when I bring you back, we're going to adjust the seasoning, and it's almost uh, serving time. All right, welcome back, my friend, and as you know, this is my favorite ride. It's time of the day. It is tasting time. I've plated these in a nice bowl and a little garnish there, but I'm going to taste them, and uh, I had a little sample before, so I'm pretty sure these are going to meet some approval. Mmm. Mmm, 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 man. Those are some, here's the thing. 
Okay, so the cream, the butter, the salt, the white pepper, all that adds to the flavor. But the texture of these is so incredibly smooth, it's hard to believe. I mean, it really is that smooth. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I know it was step by step by step, but every step was worth it, I promise you. Uh, these will be award-winning at your next get-together, and you'll become the hit. I promise you, the uh, potluck hero. These are terrific. Hey, go out and make these. Let me know in the comments how you do. And until next time, remember this. A day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day. We'll see you next time on Technical Tuesday and the Chef Lance Show.